Hello friends, welcome to my Royal Family News Channel. Before moving on to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so let's move on to the video. One more time, the media spotlight is thrown upon Meghan's act of plagiarism. What are the underlying reasons this time? Now, let us recall the disastrous story of the American Riviera Orchard. Following this tale, here is what Sky News presenter Rita Panahi brought up during the recent occurrence to criticize Meghan Markle, like everyone else, for the utterly vague dreaminess of the brand's name and useless thoughts of Duchess, plagiarism, non-inventiveness, making one brand after another for herself, the same mistakes, while trying to not look clingy. I think there has also been Swan Workshop or something of the kind, as you suggest, along with Goop by Gwyneth Paltrow and Flamingo Estate. And I beg your pardon, one cannot be called a part of the community after only four years of permanent residence. It's like having the right to adorn the title of the Duchess for 19 months and using it to make a pretentious brand. Of course, Meghan launches her name on this event to attract as much attention as possible on Lady Di's death anniversary while trying to get ahead of Catherine the Princess of Wales with her loud launch. Yet, she makes no progress as her brand launch looks stupid this time, that is the concept. Megan's new brand is centered on an empty concept, and another try to sound cool ends up in her emptiness collection. From an eccentric obsession with the ghost baby, Megan gives birth to a ghost brand. The American Riviera Orchard brand is born to the laughter of the audience, considering that it was announced on the planet without the name of the CEO. However, it is merely the background of the whole drama unfold around the new business project of Meghan Markle. No trademarks were registered near this ghost, nothing was produced in terms of products. Just a few days ago, they didn't even submit an application for the registration of the firm. But what was accidentally leaked was a large list of product lines that are even too extensive to keep in multiple warehouses. All of these circumstances have given rise to the critical questions people are asking before boycotting the brand altogether. Megan has always been a part of the people she surrounded. She never had the strength of her ideals. That is, she is an actress, a royal spouse, a dedicated volunteer, and a new entrepreneur deep down. Greed, laziness, and naivety are also the core of her life. Meghan Markle always divides the amount with the reigning man. It looks like she sucks the life out of her husband and is now setting a northern vampire on Harry. And invest in projects where she is out of place. Meghan Markle jumps from one persona to the other as subtly as most of us switch clothes and looks. There is nothing real about any of the person the public has seen. Consortially, condemning her numerous faces is seldom a bold solution. There is much criticism about this woman rising. The reason is the words she speaks ever since she came into the royal family. In general, if people decide to make a public appearance, like Meghan Markle does and has always done, they shall receive feedback from the public as well. She can forget about her monotonous aspirations to privacy because, from the outside, the fact that she cannot do without her audience becomes apparent. Both she and Prince Harry provide many reports and statements about freedom of speech on social networks. Meghan spoke at South by Southwest last week about female bullies and how to stop them. It saddens many people that persons like Nico themselves as the worst bullies. It half seems total lack of relatability and the other half seems total irrelevance. However, if people really want to keep private, no one will speak about them if they want to do something about it, they can do it quietly. As a result, people are not going to look, discuss, and judge if Megan comes to California to help the communes unless she does something with them. I have gone to the state in years, and according to what people say, your acre has a big homeless problem. Perhaps, the most likely way for her to make a change is to do it there. Most people doubt, however, that she wants to help, people like Meghan Markle are not helping anyone unless they get something out of it. It does not seem likely that she wants to help California but even more unlikely that she is doing something to help the California community. To be honest, I think that their actions only exacerbate the problem. At first, it seemed that Harry and Meghan were up to something good with Archwell, 
but they don't actually make a meaningful impact on charity. In graver reality, we could live without such people as Harry and Meghan. Clearly, I'm just talking about people whom charity uses for various purposes, such as PR or personification. For example, Meghan tries to save something with American Riviera Orchard, which is too transparent. Recently, there have been frequent headlines about Meghan as an actress, although these are obvious fakes. It will be challenging for Meghan to create a brand, as she is mean and makes another failure seem bleak. I'm not sure who advises them or controls the PR, but Meghan's advisors probably despise her due to her behavior. I think she is given advice frequently, but her narcissism will never let her listen. Despite lots of surprises that they have prepared for us, many projects and reinventions are announced, and, for example, the 40x40 40 40 launch, the details remain unknown. Indeed, everything she does seems to be going to where it is about Megan's ventures, launched only to subsequently disappear. The upward grand introductions normally transition into hidden endeavors unfortunately, it appears that all initiatives were hopeless. Megan prefers waxing enthusiastically and pretending to take concrete actions. Where they said, the majority of her statements were a pitiful mix of anxiety-ridden churns that repulsed everybody who heard them. Recent reports claim that her most recent effort is little more than a recreate of Flamingo Estates, which is an operational platform. Megan's flouting of the CEO's investment inquiry has recently prompted him to denounce her. There are currently speculations that Flamingo Estates is holding a close watch on Megan's conduct and preparing to press charges if she tries to violate any rule. Given her proclivity to launch suits on others, I'm eagerly awaiting it. And it is impossible to believe that it will not happen to her. Everything Megan has established on this project feels lackadaisical and is destined to die. Meghan Markle simply does not have the perseverance to match strongholds such as Gwyneth Paltrow and other hardworking entrepreneurs. She seems to locate the majority of her achievements by capitalizing on her interactions with wealthy financiers. Firstly, Meghan Markle does not have a legal business yet. The copyright may not have been adjudicated, and numerous websites selling all kind of stuff have already been launched. Although new products keep coming, many knockoff and copycat websites have hit the web and are now selling their stuff as real Meghan Markle merchandise. The mess is complete. In general, it feels completely inappropriate to build a luxury brand and then sell nothing but everyday products. She will inevitably add fabrics to them and double the price with her name. Also, the main idea of how Meghan Markle approaches any aspects of life is fundamentally incorrect. She only considers her opinion, powerfully ignoring everyone else's vision. That is, if she believes that this website and the new undertaking with which people should be delighted, she expects that everyone else should meet the same concept. It is she, apparently, who is correct, while the public does not accept that she is right with the $2,000 laundry bag. She may well say that they do not have the right taste. But in reality, her brand is being boycotted and criticized. For years, people have been trying to expose her identity and show that Meghan is not used to working. Perhaps the lady enjoys talking and discussing, with the initiatives and the nearest future of her and Harry's undertakings always starting to fail from the beginning. It may be better not to think about them. The answer is simple she failed to do herself. How could Harry not loathe her? How could he not comprehend so terribly selfish and noxious an individual is his wife? There is nothing left for Harry now. I think they are both in a bad financial situation. However, he is simply too stubborn to admit that he made such a disastrous decision to marry this woman. Everything revolves around Meghan in their lives Meghan's honors, Meghan's brands. Harry is second managing his relationship. I am sure he is one of the few people who still think this venture will be a success. It will not. It is doomed to failure. I mean, who starts a business without a solid plan or infrastructure? And she wants to compete with Martha Stewart, Goop, and Amazon? What is she imagining? She doesn't have anyone backing her up. Meghan Markle is nothing more than the Duchess in the dollar bin. The website does not have any goods available for sale, 
yet ripoff and copycat sites are already in the works. That's hilarious. She isn't getting any money from them except for allowing whoever wants to use their name. And the URLs of the stores have been taken. This demonstrates that even her opening was a dud. If her foes have taken their URLs, and unknown websites are selling products under the guise of being her label. It will catch up to her at some point. When she married Harry, that responsibility included supporting him and the royal family. It was a considerable responsibility, but she did not take it seriously. Instead, she belittled people who dedicate their lives to helping others. Meghan Markle refused to work hard, choosing only to glorify herself. She has the same faults as her lost mother who failed to raise her. What occupation was more important to her mother in her life than bringing up her own child still remains a mystery. She also refused not to invite her father, who brought her up and kept her, to the wedding and only flew her criminal mother. If she is creating something even not realizing the consequences, or thinking, that many millions of people are already writing and speaking about her, then maybe nothing terrible will happen. And there will be no financial gain because other companies will invent similar products comfortable and cheaper to sell to people. She does not know how many people to expect, how much to buy, which companies to sell it. Megan spreads information about how she is a conscious social collaborator and refuses to fill consignments to sell her products. Megan understands that there is no possibility of cancelling, and production will not be allowed to be reprofiled once again. And she expects that having sent off the unsuccessful head of the company who will be responsible for all this crazy end, but Megan only signed it with her name, she did not do anything actively. This is comparable to Harry's irresponsible actions toward the controversies concerning the operations of the African Parks charity. In every case, he strategically evades the controversies by making other parties culpable. Although Harry is serving as the president of the charity, Meghan remains uninterested and scarcely follows up on the injustices the Baka people encounter in the Congo. This common indifferent quality represents Harry and Meghan's lack of compatibility. As more people opt to boycott and criticize the couple's brand, it is certain that the future is likely to be dismal, as Meghan's tarnished reputation will not do much to save her husband's political future. Finally, Harry's relationship with Meghan will land him in deep debt that could lead to divorce. That's it for our video my friends, I hope you have liked it, please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and like the video. If you haven't done so yet if you want to be first to be informed about my content, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications. Thank you for spending this time with me, take care of yourself and stay healthy, I'll see you in the next one.